manufacturing concerns. Now we will discuss the final accounts of a sole proprietor engaged in a manufacturing activity. Sole proprietor engaged in a manufacturing activity will prepare what is called a manufacturing account. This is in addition to what we have already discussed, the trading account, the profit and loss account and the balance sheet. So manufacturing concerns prepare a manufacturing account along with a trading profit and loss and balance sheet. Manufacturing account gives them the cost of goods produced. What is the cost? They are in the activity of manufacture. What is the cost of the goods manufactured? This is ascertained by preparing a manufacturing account. And the cost of these goods which are manufactured is then taken to the trading account. The trading account is prepared as usual only we have not only opening stock of goods here, we also have the cost of goods produced, cost of goods produced. Compare it with the sales and other direct expenses and what we get is again the gross profit. And then the profit and loss account and balance sheet just as we did for trading organizations or non-manufacturing organizations. So the purpose of a manufacturing account is to determine the manufacturing costs, the costs of production, the costs of production. What is the cost of production? Normally they will have direct material, the raw materials which are used, which is opening stock of material plus the purchase of raw material minus closing stock of raw material. Then they will have direct wages direct labor, the labor which is employed in the manufacturing activity in the factory. They might have any other expenses, direct expenses. All these together will give what is called a prime cost. Add to this other expenses. These were all direct costs which could be directly related to the product. You know the material is there in the product. Finished product when we see we know we see the raw material in the product. We know the quantity of raw material in the product. The amount wages is the amount of time spent on the machine, the time spent on making of the product, which also can be easily ascertained. All direct costs can be directly identified with the cost of the product. These together make up the prime cost. To this we add the other indirect costs. Indirect costs are called overheads. What are the overheads? All other factory costs. Maybe the factory lighting, the factory rent, depreciation of the machinery. All other costs incurred in the factory add up factory overheads, prime cost and factory overheads together give us the factory cost. To this again we add the opening work in progress and deduct the closing work in progress to arrive at <coughs> to arrive at the cost of goods produced the cost of goods produced this cost is then taken to the trading account so manufacturing account is prepared to find out the manufacturing cost the cost of the goods which are being manufactured, this cost of goods is then transferred to trading account. What is work in progress? Opening work in progress and closing work in progress. Raw material is the material which is used to make a finished product. Finished product is what is sold by the uh, trader or the manufacturer. Now between the process from when the raw material is converted to the finished product. It is not necessary that the moment work starts on the raw material, it becomes a finished product. It is possible that takes a while, it may take half a day, it may take one day, it may take one week. So the when the goods are in process, in progress, 
that is from raw material to finished goods before reaching the in between stage that goods are lying at that in between not complete they are neither raw they are partly finished goods they are neither raw material nor they are completely finished products they are called work in progress more work needs to be work, more work needs to be done on it before it can become a finished product mm.